Welcome to Bad at Board Games. My name is Brad Lake, and I'm Bad at Board Games, so you don't have to be. Today we're going to be talking about an older game, Dig Out. This one has the Dig In expansion. Won't really be talking about that. Just the base game. Um, this was designed by, let me see, who was designed by? David Samide. And it is published by Borderline Editions. I don't know if they exist anymore. I don't know if this is the only game they produced. I know nothing about that company. <laughs> Stick around and find out what my BGG rating of this is. A value rating. Can we even pick this up anymore? Um, a little bit of pros and cons is going to be a rapid review, so I won't try to like take up too much of your time and talk too much. So... Let's see. What do I got to talk about next? Player count. Um, played this at three. Thought this was fine at three. Does not have a solo. Um, think this would be fun at four. Kind of like a party game. Does this play up to five? Yeah, five to six players. Like I think the more people you play with in this game, the more fun it would be. Um, so and it, and it doesn't doesn't take a long time to play. The theme: you are in prison. You want to get out of prison and. <laughs> <laughs> you have to dig your way out and maybe shift somebody on the way. Yeah, that's the theme. We can be John here. We can be Martha. We can be Ernest from... Um, oh, we got Ernest and Andy, and I believe that's both from Shawshank Redemption. We have... Oh, where did he go? Luther. I can't remember if Luther's in the Green Mile or not. Um... But yeah, so you got some of that pop culture in there um, from some of the prison movies as well. You are um, going to take two actions on your turn. An action, you can roll a dice, and that wherever you roll, you can go to that one of the rooms. So you can go to the the showers, or you can go to the cafeteria, or you can go to the um, like the recreational area, weightlifting area. Um, and then see, go for food. So there's like different rooms when you roll the dice. And as you look at the dice rolls, you can kind of be like, okay, I have a 50% chance of going there or a 30% chance of going there. Um, that's one action you can take. Your other action is you can search the room and do the room action, so to speak, when you're in that room. Um, like if you're in the infirmary, you can heal yourself for that action. Now, if you don't want to risk taking the die roll and you need to go to the infirmary to heal yourself, you can take both of your actions and just move your guy to that space. Um, so what are these mechanics? You're going to have some randomness dice rolling. You are going to have um, room actions. So, And then you're going to be set collecting. So the whole way to get out is to collect enough digging points, essentially. I think it's 15. Whoever gets to 15... Um, digging points first and then gets into the their cell with those um, collected tools, wins the game. Uh, like I said, all over the place, but anyway, that's the gist. You are rolling to move around, set collection to get enough um, digging tools, and then get back to the um, your locker, your cage, whatever, to then get out. The... We talked about player count, time to play. This was quick. This is like was like 45 minutes, I would say, um, with three players. Now, I don't know if the time is going to double, but it will take more time because you're going to have more people getting in your way and trying to steal your collections or you can stab people to wound them, different things like that that would slow the game down. So I would say if you're going to play with five or six, you know, think about this as being an hour and a half kind of a game. Um, and we've talked about turns. I'm not gonna really going to go over pros and cons. I would say the pro of this is it's quick. It's not too hard to learn. Some set collection, some humor going on with the game. You know, you've got cigarettes as currency. Um, you're collecting uh, different weapons and different um, items. If you get the right kind of items, you can join a gang. That gang's going to give you a special ability over somebody else and it's random like if you everybody joins the same gang you don't have the same ability 
there's random cards based on the, the gang. So even if you did do that, it changes up. So there's a lot of variability, some randomness. But if you're looking at it from a statistical standpoint, like I kind of do with dice games, um, you can kind of like gauge where you need to go and how you should get there. Um, and is it going to work for you or not? Uh, weight rating. Let's see. We've got a 2.13 on BGG. I would agree. It's it's not super hard. Um, it, it it was quick to teach and it was a quick play. So I would I would think it's right around that 2.0 weight rating side of things. Um, my value value rating for this. I'm not sure what this even costs. Let's see. So Noble Knights Games, which is used, is at thirty-five dollars. Zulu Games is uh, in Europe, twenty-seven euros. Canada, it's saying sixty from Board Game Bliss. eBay, there's nine. Really low, like trying to give it away at eight euros. So you're kind of all over the place. Um, but I would say you can get this for around you know twenty-five bucks. I would say you're going to have a four out of five value rating for the experience that you're getting and then my bgg rating so bgg has 1000 ratings on this and they're saying it's a 7.2 i would agree with that like i think it's a nice game i don't think i I would play it if somebody wanted to play it Um, i don't know if i'm going to be like asking for it maybe every once in a while you know kind of in that hybrid like yeah, let's play that because it's quick, it's fun, you know, makes me laugh um, kind of way. So I think it's a seven. I don't think it's a, you know, a six where it's not something I'd be like, yeah, kind of don't want to play that. And I don't think it's an eight where it's like, everybody should be playing this. We should all get on board. So I'm happy with a seven. What do you think? Have you played this? Have you heard of this? Um, for the few of you who do click on this, because this isn't the new hotness. <laughs> I would be curious to know if anybody else had even heard of this game. Um, it was it was it was cute. It was fun. And uh, oh, it's another game I want. <laughs> We're finding that I like these weird games. So anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And just remember, no matter how you play, whether it's solo with family or friends, enjoy whatever you are bringing to the table. Have a great night.